Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick uh, unboxing. Um, I have a Diamond Art Club kit, round diamonds, and it is Tuscany Villa by Sam Park. The size is 29 inches by 22, or 74 centimetres by 56 centimetres. Okay, so we just open this a second oh. I'm literally I'm filming this and then I'm going to settle down to bed because I've got work in the morning I see in the morning it's 1.36 now <laughs> in the morning so yeah hopefully this will be a quickie oh. my recycling box and we can get rid of the knife and just give this and pull it out diamond art club do what makes you sparkle what else have we got in there yeah that's everything <coughs> So, as usual, you've got your Tuscany Villa, let me just zoom in a sec, you have your Tuscany Villa, little sticker, you can use it to organise your kits or place in a logbook or any way you like, as it says on the sticker, and then you have your... Um, I suppose it's like an extra legend, but it's uh, sticky and you could use this to mark up your drill storage boxes with your symbol and DMC code. And if you want to have the serial number on there, i.e. 12345, etc. Oh, by the way, if there's 49 colours in this kit. That's something I forgot. So, okay, toolkit. Let's have a look at the toolkit. Let's stick that over there. I'm going to just try and open this a second. So, standard DAC toolkit, baggies, two heart waxes, blue pen, blue squishy, three placer, and a clear diamond. Clear, sorry, drill tray, diamond drill tray. So, most people will know what these are. Oh, and because this is a round, you don't get tweezers. The last couple of ones I've done have been square. So, you've had like tweezers, but you only get those with the square ones. I find them quite handy for when I'm using rounds to get off my dog here because it tends to want to stick all the time. Right, okay, gonna move those out the way. Okay, so let's have a look at the canvas. Right, let's open this canvas. Tell, definitely it's around. Okay, so this is Tuscany Villa. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, I'm just going to fold this back the other way. 
just so we can get this hopefully lying flat on the table. Give you a good view of it. the ends are definitely wanting to curl up the other way. Just gonna do this end as well. Ooh, looks like there's a couple of bubbles there on the back of the canvas. I'm hoping that that is just bubbles with the top clear cover and not the actual glued canvas. You shall see now. Have a look. Right. Let's put this down. See again there's lots of marks in this one like my last one. This one I had was perfect. Didn't have anything. These seem to have lots of stripy marks down. It's like somebody's poured the glue on the canvas. And instead of waiting for it to dry, it's like, you know, when you see somebody doing cement, and instead of waiting for it to dry, it's sort of nearly dry, and then someone goes around and puts their handprint in it. And you can see that it's like something's gone on. It's like, it looks like a tyre mark through the snow sort of thing. And then you've got the really smooth stuff here, and then you can see where it's, someone's like dragged something through it. I don't know whether poured glue goes on via a roller and whether there's like you know, like a dodgy wiper blade it doesn't uh, make contact properly and that's where you get the funny and something oh about this uh I've got this back on it's a bit weird right also let's do a sticky test Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely sticky. I mean, <laughs> well, I tell you what, again, the canvas is really sparkling. It is. It's not in your face. It doesn't look overly, you know. But oh my god, it does catch the light. So, I'll just see if I can get this on without too many wrinkles because being a bigger canvas and only having a small table at the moment, it's hard to get it all flat. Let's just do it this way and then do this corner. I mean, look at the reds in there. I mean, obviously, this is a round. So the canvas doesn't look like the finished picture will look not like a square does. A square, pretty much you can look at it and you think that's how it's going to look like when I finished. This is going to look different because you've probably got some white symbols on coloured. And when the coloured drills go on top, it'll fill it in and it'll be a more complete picture. So I'm going to zoom in and see if we can get a look at the drill field. Let's start here. I think it's pretty clear. Even I could probably see that. And I think actually these drill fields look a lot clearer to me than some of the cheaper canvases I bought. For someone who struggles with eyes and having to use either a magnifying glass or a light pad or something to help me. These look very good. And they've even got symbols in different colours as well, so some of it stands out. 
It is very, very great for me. I can't get over it. Can you see there the glitter in the brain? So the AB, which is Aurora Borealis, which is a special coated drill. There is one AB, I think, here. Oh, actually, there could be two. We've got one, three, two, and one, three, four. So one, three, two, and one, three, four, which is symbol one and symbol two on the canvas. So, we just stick this back down. Let's have a look for symbol one and two. Right, so when, let me zoom out because otherwise you're not going to see. And then, so you can see ones here and here, and it goes all the way down through like this hill. In Tuscany. Oh, sorry, they're not ones. Yeah, the ones are back at the top here and across here. And twos, there's some twos there, the green. Let's just zoom in a bit more so you can see. So you've got the ones and twos here. So you can see. And you've got some down. The bottom, so if I scroll back out now, you've seen the colours. So it's going to be a green and a yellow, so there's going to be hardly any in the sky. You've got twos down here, and twos here, 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 here. So the green bits you can see are all twos, and then you've got ones here around the flowers. So, you know, on sort of here, ones, and then you've got some twos, and then you've got some twos around here, and even up as far as here, you've got some twos as well. But the higher, the highest ones in the canvas is probably around here. far as I can see anyway but it looks like you could get some colour blocking done because this seems to be a section of fours all of this is one sort of section there's a big section there all of these so you could, if you wanted to try multi-placing, do it. And there's some nice pinks in the clouds there. I'm wondering, I'm excited to see how this will look when it's finished. I'm hoping to give this as a present to someone, but we'll see how it turns out when it's finished. I've got about nine months to do it. That might be a stretch for me, because... I don't often get a chance to sit down and do long stints of diamond painting. I have bought quite a few big ones lately. Um, and I'm not sure which ones I want to start first. Okay, so Tuscany Villa drills. I'm just going to go through these quickly. What we have here, oh, there is one of the, let's zoom in a bit, okay, let's, that is one of the AB drills, you can see.
Okay. Let's start. We have let's get the name. Ooh, 402. That is looking a bit lighter than in real life. We've got two bags of 890. We have a 322. 134, which is one of the ABs. 334, which I assume is going to be the sky. Uh, 2895s. And 2904s. Oh, there's a, like a road straggler there. Now we get onto some of the nice brighter colours. We have two bags of 606, which is supposed to be a ready type of colour, but it's looking more pink in the camera. But red is my favourite colour. So anything with red in gets my vote any day. 3755, 907, lime green, 498, 3776, 3325, 3854, 3348, 814, 947, nice bright orange, 3371, 360, 891 892 and I think this is the last strand now. Uh, 3861 963 very pale baby pink 132 that is another AB. Can you see the coating on there? So one three two one one three four. The one three two I thought was yellow on the canvas. I think I mentioned it might have been yellow, but it's actually more of an orange. So it's that one there. Three three four seven eight nine three three one two seven four three one six five four hundred. 894, I think the pink is going to be in the clouds. 742, 301, 350, 605. There's another light pink, again, clouds and sky. 3841, 819, 938, 351, 951. And three five two and then I think there is this one which is three two one nine oh five and six 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 so six 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 is quite a deep red but it's coming off quite a bit of a paler red on here so yeah six oh six and six 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 are red nice red colors okay so that's the drills and i'll just clear these away if you want to put any comments below any tips any feedback if you've been doing this quite a while because i haven't i've only sort of found out about them and painting sort of this year beginning of this year and yeah I've constantly worked through lockdown so I've had no chance to do anything more than I would do not in a normal year so um yeah it would be nice to sort of have some downtime maybe get a bit done over Christmas I've got a few days off over Christmas so maybe I can relax and have a go at this um, I'm just trying to sort out basically 
a sort of setup for you know like a table setup where I can sit comfortably because sometimes I sit at the sit on my settee and watch the TV or put music on or watch YouTube videos. I could sit at my dining table, but that's a bit higher. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just in the, I'm in the process of just trying to sort out my work station because and I've just bought a tilted easel, only a small one because I was getting such a sore neck and shoulders, having to sort of look down and do my drills. Constantly, my neck is killing me. Well, I suffer with bad neck and shoulders anyway. So yeah, if anybody's got any suggestions, something is space saving though because if I have it downstairs in my room, I don't want anything big. I have seen on Amazon a table, a tilted table on wheels. So it could be that it could be easy to move around and you've got storage on either side and then you've got the, the table that you can tilt if you want to tilt it with a kickstand at the bottom to, to hold your work and clips to clip it or you can have it flat or you can have it just as a slight angle so if you have it at a slight angle you can still put your drills on the desk maybe without them going everywhere because obviously if you have it really tilted, then you can't put anything on there except for in the bits on the sides, which is alright for your pens and maybe your washi tape and your scissors and all your other bits and bobs like that. But whether you can have open trays and drills in the side bits, I haven't worked that out yet, but... Yeah, I'm still trying to suss things out. Best way of working. So yeah, any tips, suggestions, feedback on anything about this video or anything that I've discussed about workstation setups. How do you do your diamond painting? What works for you? Post below. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.